When family members talk about Robert Ramirez, they say he had a great sense of humor and a big heart for everyone he knew. When they learned that Ramirez and his son had been shot outside their home by a random bullet, confusion and then heartbreak set in. Thankfully, Ramirez's son survived, but Robert did not. More than eight years later, the family still celebrates Robert's life, especially on today. KLBK's Jaxie Pigeon is here to explain why. Jaxie. Matt, Robert Ramirez's daughter Alexis tells me there is absolutely nothing he loved more than his family. And tonight, while the reasoning behind his death remains a mystery, his family still wanted to celebrate him on his 53rd birthday. So in honor of his special day, they threw him a party, Robert style, with lots of food, dancing, and of course, all of his favorite people. He's not able to be here with us, like to enjoy life or anything. So it makes it really hard on our family not having him around. And Alexis Ramirez says her dad, Robert, enjoyed spending his birthdays with family. But sadly, he only had 44 of them. He didn't cause trouble with nobody. He was just always about his kids and his grandkids. So, I mean, I don't know why it happened. Back in September of 2014, Robert was randomly killed in a drive-by shooting in front of his home in South Lubbock. Monday would have been his 53rd birthday so his loved ones still threw a party for him. I'm trying to make us all come together just to remember what he used to love to do. And he'll always live through us, like no matter what. So I try my best to do what I can for him in every event, holidays and stuff like that. Throughout the years, Ramirez's family and friends have honored his life. They visit him at the cemetery, share photos, and reflect on memories. It's family and friends that are here to help us celebrate his birthday, just to celebrate his life and remember who he was and just keep fighting to get justice for him. The family's fight for justice has been long and it's still not over. The shooter still has not been held responsible. With a new detective assigned to the case, Alexis says she feels more optimistic. I feel pretty good. I feel like with this detective, we will finally get justice for him. So I feel confident about this. Alexis says not a day goes by that she doesn't think about her father and all of his invaluable advice. The family hoping someone will come forward so they are able to get some closure. I mean, he deserves to have peace at the end of the day. We're not giving up. We're going to do everything we can to get justice for him. Lubbock police describe one of the suspects as a black man with shoulder length dreads who was believed to have driven away in a Dodge Magnum, which you can see right behind me. If you know any information that can help solve the case, you're encouraged to call Crime Line at 806-741-1000. You may be eligible for a reward of up to $7,000.